Hi everyone. In this series of videos we are looking at how to use the Avada Builder elements. In this video we will be looking at how to use the Tag Cloud element in Avada. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos like this one. And if you don't want to miss one, click the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos on our channel. Ok, let's begin. The Tag Cloud element is a simple element you can use to display a Tag Cloud anywhere on your site. I've imported the classic shop site here, and down in the footer we can see an example of a Tag Cloud. This is the Tag Cloud widget, but with the Tag Cloud element there are now a lot more options with this. Let's have a look. The most common place you will see a Tag Cloud is in the blog sidebar, but with the Tag Cloud element the taxonomy options offer a lot more than just tags and so it becomes more useful in other places as well. I'm going to add the Tag Cloud element with these product summaries. I've removed one of the columns, and added a new one for my Tag Cloud. As you can see from the title, it's going to display product categories. I'll just add the element in here. And it loads with tags as the default taxonomy. But if I open the taxonomy options, we can see there is a range of custom post type taxonomies to choose from, including blog, product, portfolio and FAQ taxonomies. For my example I'm going to choose product categories. The next option down is show count, which displays the number of products in each category, but for this example I'll leave that off. The options below this are the ubiquitous element visibility and CSS options. I don't need them for this example so I'm going to skip to the design tab. There is a margin option for margins around the element, but again in this situation I don't need that. Then we have style. Here we are displaying basic, but if I choose arrows, we can see that the tags are now displayed, well, like a tag. For this example I think I'll leave it on basic though. Then we can align the tags within the column, and here I think left aligned will probably look the best. Tag spacing is the next option, this is in pixels and here I think the default is looking good. Then we have an option called font size variable. This is on static presently, but the other option is variable, and what that does is to size the fonts according to the number of items within that tag. So in this case, the more products in the category, the bigger the category font size. This might work on a blog sidebar, but here I'll leave it on static. If you want to adjust the font size though, there's an option for that, as well as one for letter spacing. Then there's one for tags padding, not on arrows, which controls the spacing around the individual tags. The arrow style doesn't have a border, and so the next option border size will only be visible with the basic styling, but here you can control the size of the four borders independently. Likewise under this you can control the border radius in the same way. For the arrow style you can just control the top and bottom right borders. Then comes an option called random colors. This does basically what it says, and you can apply it to the background, the text, or both. As the description says, if you apply both, the background color will be semi-transparent. If I just apply random colors to the background, the element updates, and it looks like this. And if I also add text, it refreshes again, and now looks like this. I'll turn these both off, as that brings the custom colors options back, and here you can style the tags as you wish, with both options for the normal and rollover state. You can control the background color, the text color, and the border color or with the arrow style just the first two. And then there is the usual extras tab, with animation options for the loading of the element. I might just set that to slide in, from the right, at a speed of one second, when the top of the element hits the middle of the viewport. Ok, that's an example of the tag cloud element. It's very versatile, and this could no doubt be used in many ways. Thanks for watching, and let us know in the comments how you use it. Ok, this concludes our video on how to use the Tag Cloud element. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel to keep up with all the latest videos. And if you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.